Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is TJ and today you are at part two of my home renovation process. If you have no idea what I am talking about, I will go ahead and link the video before. I show the before of the house renovation and the first part. So now you guys, it was time to put all the things that I had learned in my life, all the little things I had learned along in my life, it was time to put that into good use. So I had two problems when we started to kind of now put the house back together. One, the deck leaked down in the garage completely. I mean, when it rained, it rained in the garage with the deck closed up. So we knew that that was a priority to be done for the outside, but inside, I knew my priority was to get a kitchen up and running um, for several reasons. One, it's the most important room or part of a home when you are gonna go ahead and start putting it back together. So keep that in mind. You always wanna do the most expensive things first because as you go down a project, you are gonna have less and less money. So plan for it, budget for it, and my thing was let's plan a kitchen. So how was I gonna put this kitchen together? So take a look as I show you what my plan So was. we continued taking out more stuff, more drywall, little bit of insulation in the ceilings, but I wanna show you guys what my plan is. So here we are in front of that family room, the one with the carpet in the middle, with that fireplace in the corner. Well, as we started taking out more and more things, we noticed that all the plumbing had to be replaced. So I thought, you know what? If we have to replace everything, why don't we move the kitchen? We do have a bathroom on this side, so we do have water supply already. Why don't we just hook it up off of there and build a kitchen? And then those back doors, um, I thought, let's just close it up so it can make a bigger kitchen. Because, you know, there are certain things that are have more priority. And I think kitchen is definitely number one on my list. So that was happening first. We're moving the kitchen and I had to design cabinets and how I was going to place things and yada, yada, yada. But remember the old kitchen where it was? You know, after we took it all down, it just didn't make sense to have the kitchen in this little box almost. I thought it'd be a better spot for a dining room. Remember what it looked like before with those cabinets up above and yeah, look at it now. It's all open and just felt fresh and I thought, you know what, we could make it a dining area with French doors going out to the you know backyard over here. And it just felt more spacious. And then if we went around, I thought we could just make this entire room the living room. But remember what it looked like before? Yeah, that pocket door. Well, look at what it looks like now with it all opened up. Imagine you're looking at the kitchen from the living room right here. And the sun shining in. Oh, just made me so happy. Obviously, I don't want to spend a lot of money. I mean, because I also think about it this way that even though it's new to us right now, eventually it's going to get old. So I don't want to put a ton of money, like go make us go broke on something that is going to lose value over time. So uh, we, have a, we have a family friend who does cabinets. He does office cabinets. And I had asked him, I'm like, have you ever done a kitchen before? And he's like, no. I'm like, well, you know how to build cabinets. He's like, yeah, I know how to do any kind of cabinet. So I'm like, what if we plan out the layout and you build it, you know? So that's how it started. He came down, he took measurements of everything. And I, you know, kind of told him how we wanted things. So he went back and he said, okay, this is how much material I'm going to need. And so that's how it started. <laughs> to be. So while he was starting the cabinet tree in the kitchen, outside we were starting the deck. And take a look because we had to hire help to get this out. And I'm so thankful we did. You guys, when you're doing a renovation, there are certain things that you want to do yourself and there are certain things that you definitely want to hire a professional to do. 
and this is one of them. So take a look at our deck. Oh my god. It's like, like an earthquake happened and some rubble. <laughs> There's no way we could have done this. Absolutely. No way. There's a hole. There's some of the garbage in there. So, anyways, say hello. Hola. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Hola. Oh, my goodness. So it's all out, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This looks nice. <laughs> I like it. <sighs> this is insane. That's all open, huh? I know. At least the wood is not rotted. Oh, these beams are pretty straight, huh? Beams are very strange. This is crazy. This is our deck right here. Look at the deck. See how flat it is now? God, they took out all that concrete. They had to put new plywood down. And then they put these strips on. And then they put this fiberglass coating and if you look really closely there's these little fibers in there all that when I zoom in a little you can see it but anyways all the way they ran out of fiberglass so they stopped working today but I'll be back at it tomorrow and Alejandro's inside he's doing all the cabinets thing Anyways, look at the cabinets, they're gonna look so good when it's all done. Anyways, look at this water. Look at this. Turn on the water, and this is what I'm stuck with. All this is, is the puddles of water in the bathroom. Water everywhere coming from there. Baby, get the shot back from the closet. Show you this. Look at that. All oh, this is water. So he let it just run. So all this water is now soaked in all the way through this is insane oh that was kind of cool oh wow huh that's gonna be a wall coming up so technically you won't be able to see anything until right there until you turn.
Okay, well, here's the deck. Be happy with the brown. Look at that, the whole thing is done. <laughs> no, the color looks really good. I like it. Floor looks great. Mountain. Well, anyways. This is our kitchen. Everything is plumbed and Alejandro has been doing cabinetry. Finally got everything on. Look at all the lights are in. Can you turn that switch for me, babe? The halogens. Oh! Can't really see a difference, but. <laughs> You could. We should have brought bolts for the other lights. They work. I know, but we gotta take out the baffles slowly, but surely it's happening. That looks so neat, closed up. And then look, we still get sunshine. Through this door. And once it's the door, love it. I'll be the whole kitchen right there. God, the days are going by so fast, but anyways, we have a little bit of progress going on. Let's see. There's a light in the dark. It looks really nice. Put some oil rub bronze um, locks. Insulation. <laughs> It's all gonna be kitchen. It's all framed in. It's 551. And look at this. Lights. You have lights. Yay! Look at how beautiful it looks. Go to the kitchen.